Okay, good morning everyone. My name is Vipin Kumar and in this video we are going to create and deploy Azure function in PowerShell to get a list of VMs in a subscription. So let's begin. There are many developer tools are available to create and deploy Azure function. You can use Visual Studio, Visual Studio Code or Azure Online Developer Tool for Azure Function. But I recommended Azure Function Core Tool to create and deploy functions. You can install Azure Function Core Tool on your developer machine. I am using Windows machine for the development. So these are steps you require to install Node.js You can download Node.js for Windows machine. You can download it and install it on your machine. I have already installed Node.js on my machine. Next thing is you need to install Azure Function Core Tool Package. You can install package for version 3.x. And finally, you require to download and install .NET Core for the Windows platform. Go ahead and download .NET Core. I have already installed, so don't require to install again. Once you are ready with Azure Function Core Tools, you can write the Azure Function, create a folder for the function and now open the PowerShell. Go to that location. You can get the help. I am using the Azure function core tool 3.x. These are commands you can use to control the Azure functions on Azure cloud as well as local machine. Let's create a Azure function project select the language in which you want to create functions it created a project directory for the azure functions this directory is equivalent of azure app function if you notice that multiple files are created in the Azure function project, these files are useful for different different scenario. We are more interested on profile.ps file. Let me open it. Let me explain what is this file and what is used for. If you look at the Azure documentation, when you create a Azure function app by using any tool, it creates a profile.ps file. This profile.ps file is used for manage service identity authentication on Azure cloud. You don't require manual authentication or authorization on Azure. You can read more about PowerShell profile on the Azure documentation page. I will provide the link in video description. Since I am going to use MSI and it is going to list all the Azure account that is associated with my managed service identity. And finally it is going to connect my Azure account. There are some of the environment variable creates when you create or deploy Azure functions. Hold down. It is not enough. You also require to generate a token for the managed service identity to access the resources on Azure cloud. We are using the REST API to obtain a token. It is well explained in this documents you required to define two variable for the manage identity one is 
and point and second is header this is the identity and point or url of the azure service which you want to access you can get a list of the urls for the various azure service in this demonstration i am requesting for a azure global endpoints these are endpoints or url for the various resources this is the api version use this api version and finally i am invoking endpoint of the resources by using second parameter headers so i am using this profile.ps1 file for the automatic authentication and authorization on azure resource once you are ready with profile.ps1 file you can create the function now this is the command this is the name of the function let's go ahead and execute select the function type i am going to create a http trigger base function select it now go back to your local function project and this is the function folder it creates two files function.json and run.ps1 file function.json file define the property of the functions in the binding properties you can define function trigger type and direction direction in or direction out direction in means that how you are receiving data into the function and direction out means how you are sending data from the function this is the name of in direction and this is the name of out direction method can be get or post second file is run.ps1 this is the default content of this file and we are writing our powershell algorithm to get a list of vms let me modify this file with my code we are using the namespace system.net in a microsoft.net framework because my function is going to communicate over the network this is the input binding since we are using http trigger for the function so input parameters will be nothing it is simple http request in this function i am getting a status of my vms this is the function to convert azure vm status report into the html format and it is output binding i am sending a output in a html format now we are ready to publish function on azure so create a function app in azure portal create function app give the function app name and function app name should be same with your local function name select the runtime stack we are going to use the powershell no monitoring required at this time no tag preview and create go ahead and create it my function app is ready now go ahead and publish the function app this is the command to publish function app on the azure cloud my function successfully publish on azure let's verify yes you can see here we got our functions these are read only function let's verify the directory and you can see all the files and folders are uploaded successfully now we require to provide the required permission to the function on the subscription 
so that this function can get a list of VMs. So click on function app, then click on platform features, then click on identity, enable system assign or management service identity and save it. Now we require to provide the permission or role assigned. So click on home and search subscription. I have only one subscription. Click on it. Click on IAM. Click on add and select role assignment select a role I am selecting the contributor role for this demonstration select the role which fits your requirement assign access to function app and select your function save it required role has been assigned we are ready to run function you can get the URL for the function Copy it and run on the browser. You can watch the logs for any error or warning. It is still running. It has been completed. You can see here these are VMs in my subscription. DB01 is running and Web01 is delocated. Let's verify. Yes, these are two machines in my current subscription. So this is the complete example. How can you use Azure function to invoke a PowerShell based on multiple triggers like HTTP, Time, Webhook, Event Base, etc. In this video, that's all. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Bye.